always get yours. Can you get mine? I'm not. But I have seen a bear, and I know that you haven't. Like you have either. I have. Proof. I'll show you before bed. <laughs> You've not seen a bear. You don't even know what a bear looks like, unlike me. I do know what a bear looks like, and I have seen one. So you're saying you've been to the outside? I am so sick and tired of our uniforms. Mine's almost too small. Can we switch? Do you think anyone would notice? I mean, they look the same. Cause yours is just a little bit tighter. It's unfair, right? Why is yours tighter than mine? I want to know what it's like to wear a tight uniform. Please? I mean, as long as we do our job, manager won't care, right? Oh, I'm just kidding. Just like Spot likes to do, huh, buddy? Good boy. Good morning, Spot. Are you ready to go to the dishwasher room? <laughs> so are you gonna switch? No, thank you. Spot seems kind of sleepy. He usually likes to be taken to the dishwasher room after breakfast. It's my turn to take him out, by the way. Uh, no way. You wish. It's my turn. The manager will notice. And she'll terminate us at once. We don't want that now, do we? But it's... worth a risk. Imagine. No. Please. Okay, Cook Lucas. I was a cook once. 
I know, me too. It's hard. Like you care. We should get going. Come on. Maybe we can just switch later. Once we finish. Last chance. The more mess you make, the more you're gonna have to decontaminate. Okay, manager Valerie. You wish. You wish? Wish what? That I was your manager. I let you sleep in and give Spot all of the petting and loving and scratches. You'd be more like manager. Once you got the role, goodbye Lucas, hello manager Lucas. At least I know the difference. Well, not you. I'd run this restaurant just as well as manager. I'd even let people satisfy themselves whenever they want. And Spot, he can sit at the table with us. You'd be just like manager. I would too, I know. Let's just eat. Do you want to be manager Valerie too? No. I want to be a salesman to sell. Are you serious? You have to go to the outside to be a saleswoman. And plus, as someone who's been to the outside, I know. You won't, you won't be a salesman like you think you will now. I mean, it's fun to think. Once I thought that I'd be a thief. But then I realized that... Realized what? That I can't satisfy myself as much as I wanted if I was a thief. Being a thief's hard. I realized that when I went to the outside and saw... Thieves? And bears. Okay, manager Lucas, if you say so. Why don't you want to be manager Valerie? I mean, it, it's guaranteed and more time to satisfy yourself that way. Okay! Okay, manager Lucas. If you're so sure. I wonder what manager's doing on the outside. As the usual. What, what's the usual? I had a really weird dream last night. What, did you dream about the mirror again? No, not this time. This is worse. What? Tell me. Did you dream about the entertainment? No. This was a sad dream. A serious dream. We don't have time for this. We have work today. I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. I know you wouldn't have cared about it anyway. Fine, tell me. If I can't handle it, I'll just take a calmer before a manager arrives. Are you sure? Just tell me. I had a dream that aliens, all of them in these blue suits, they looked like you or me or manager came in. Like into the restaurant? Like from the outside? Where else would they come from? But these aliens in these blue suits came in. They had big sticks on their sides and big hats on their head. And they swooped into our room and they took us away. At first we were scared. And we cried and we yelled. And we yelled for manager and landlord and even party member. But no one was there. The aliens strapped us together. They strapped our hands together so we couldn't run. They said that this was good, that they had found us. And to be quiet. And they did nothing? 
Was this at night? Yes, night. No one was around. They told us not to cry. That we were safe. I wanted to go. But you not so much. You kept yelling at them because of their really bad breath. Ugh. You know how I hate bad breath. But they took us anyway. They took us to the outside. They told us not to speak to anyone until we got into where they were from. They said if we told anyone what we had seen, they wouldn't believe us. They put us on their backs and we walked out to the spaceship and we went all over the outside. After exploring the outside, we- Wait, 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 wait. What was in the outside? I mean, I know of course, because I've been there but I just want to make sure that this dream outside is like the real outside. There were dogs. But they looked nothing like Spot and they sniffed all over. And there were more aliens and saleswomen and salesmen and they tried to get me to do things. What things? They tried to get me to speak into a little video camera. Like, like this one. And write my name on all these other restaurants. It was so big. And all the other aliens were so nice. They probably just wanted to meet from you. Were they all salesmen? This was a dream, remember? I don't know if they were all salesmen. We need to hurry. What did the aliens do next? Did they take you to where they're from? Yeah. Eventually. Well, almost. Well? Yeah. Eventually they did. What was it like? Where were they from? I don't remember. The alarm clock woke me up. That's why I was so slow to wake up. I remember walking in and... Oh, we'd been long been separated by now. And... They wanted to talk to us on their own. You went with a couple of salesmen and I went off with a couple of saleswomen. Are you going to tell manager about this? Those stretchers look comfortable. I think something's wrong with Spot. He didn't want to eat or go out. I think he might be sick. Oh no. Really? Maybe he slept poorly last night. Well, we're sorry, buddy. Did you watch him while he was trying to go? You know how he hates that. Of course not. And you didn't rush him either? You know how agonizing it can be when someone is rushing you while you're trying to go to the bathroom? Uh, I think he just needs some rest. Put him to bed again. Do you need my sheet? That's a good idea. How about a calmer just in case? Great idea. Alright Spot, we hope you can get some rest. This will keep you nice and warm. And this will be our little secret, okay? It'll make you feel a little bit better. And if you need anything, just don't hesitate to whine or cry. We'll be there regardless. <sighs> Free time. Oh yeah. Oh. I really hope the manager brings back more callers. Can I borrow a calmer? Sure.
Here's a list of what you have missed. The floors have dried, but you have missed many spots. The cooks need preparation help. Finish before party member arrives. Remember, every speck will be examined, including the kitchen and the walls. I need to use the dishwasher. <sighs> You need to decontaminate that. It's okay, it's okay. Hello? Hello? How late? How late? Does the pain make you not want to satisfy yourself? Of course not. Have you ever decontaminated a wound using a cleaning tool before? No. But it's worth a try. You should go tell manager. She'll know something. My hand is cut. Have you decontaminated the wound? Our decontamination bottle is expired. Did you use a bottle for decontamination? Yes. Your hand. Thank you. How did this happen? I broke a glass decontaminating. I'm sorry you broke a glass. I hope you took the proper broken glass precautions. Your hair is too long. Lucas too. You both need to look appropriate before landlord and party members arrival. You both need haircuts before the landlord's arrival. Please alert Lucas while I prepare the haircuts.
sit up and don't move your neck. How did you sleep, Valerie? Great. Did you have any dreams? No. Did you? I had a dream about the cooks. How nice. Did you enjoy your free time today? Yes. Are you excited to see landlord and party member? Of course. Good. Sit up and don't move your neck. How did you sleep, Lucas? Great. Did you have any dreams? Yes. And what did you dream about? I dreamed about the outside. Oh. Did you have any dreams? And uh, what did you dream about the outside? That I was a thief. I thought this morning that maybe if I work hard enough, I could become one. Don't you want to be a manager like me? It is the best job that you can get. I want to be a manager and a thief. Not possible. You have to pick one or the other. Then I choose becoming manager. Good. Did you enjoy your free time today? Yes. Are you excited to see party member and landlord? Yes. Good. How are you today? Good, thank you. Please follow me. How's this? Quite perfect. May I take your coat? Certainly. Your waiter should be with you shortly. Would you like today's entertainment while you wait? Sure, always. Thank you. Today's entertainment. Hi, Valerie. Wow. Did you get a haircut? How are you doing today? Too much work got you down? May I start you off with a drink? Sounds good to me. Great, I'll be back with one drink. That was close. Are your feet untied? Here's your water. And here's your remote. Valerie will be here to check on you and tell you about our special anytime. Please be careful. You would not want to spill before landlord arrives. The floors are not dry. I slipped. They are dry.
Would you like to hear the special? Of course. Today's special is the special with a side to accompany the special. Wow. So many choices. I think I might need a little more time. Take your time. Would you like an appetizer in the meantime? I'm fine for now, thank you. I'm just getting full from all of this drink. Of course you are. Our drinks are the most filling drinks. How is it out there? Slippery. How's party member? Usual. I gotta get to work. Lucas, could you decontaminate the walls and then wash out this rag? It's a little old. Valerie, the party member's waiting and almost impatient. Hi, Valerie. How are you? I am ready to order my appetizer. I heard there are new dishes on the menu. Yes, all new. A new appetizer, too. That sounds delicious and fancy. I hope it's being prepared with extra flavor. It is. But if you want extra flavor, it's extra. Could you put the extra flavor on my tab? I'll check with manager, but it should not be a problem. Very good. Very professional. I'll take one appetizer. I'll get that in right away. Wait, could I get a drink refill? It's getting very dry in here. I should have asked. I'm sorry, yes, right away. in case you get extra thirsty. There's a large soup spill in the kitchen. We need your help immediately. A soup spill? No, oh no, not another soup spill. What happened? Do not, do not touch him. Do not touch his skin. He could be contaminated. He could be contagious. What should we do? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. But he does have an infection. It is serious and dire. This is the only way to decontaminate a merciless infection such as this. Go, decontaminate him from head to toe. Now we can wait for him to dry. It is working. Can't you smell it? Yes. It smells like dessert. Exactly. Once he is dry, we can move him to his place of rest for comfort and recovery. This is taking longer than I thought. He is heavy. We could use a yellow stretcher. This is Lucas. And this seems to be an emergency. Is it really an emergency? Is it? Yellow stretchers are for emergencies only. I'm not so sure this is classifiable as an actual emergency. This has got to be an emergency. What else could it be? It could be just a situation. He's got a serious infection. Because I am a manager and I take all the proper precautions, I have now classified this as an emergency.
yellow stretcher. Thank you. He is dry. He is dead out. Are you sure? Did you notice any red spots? Nothing new. Good. How long until he wakes up? Not long. He will be fine. Is he decontaminated? He will be soon. The appetizer should be ready. I'm sorry, Lucas. If you recover fully, I'll turn your alarm clock off in the mornings from now on. One appetizer, hot and ready. This looks just, just stunning. I cannot wait to dig in. In fact, I'm salivating like a wild bear. I'll be right back with a new pitcher. Great, now excuse me while I dig in. Lucas have been doing a terrible job, really. It's been just brutal. And Lucas, where's he been? I need to tell him how awful of a job he's been doing. Why are you asking? The spill must be just a whole lot of fun. There's nothing more fun than a gigantic and violent soup spill. It is. He still needs my help. enjoying your appetizer and how are you enjoying today's entertainment I'm truly not enjoying it awful the entertainment is entertaining as always I can always count on the entertainment <laughs> Cut it out, this is serious. No, it's fine. It is so good and filling, I don't even think I need to order an entree. You will need to order an entree. Oh, and the landlord will be stopping by. Oh, why? For an inspection. So that explains all the decontamination and why Lucas and Valerie are so nervous. <laughs> We are always clean and decontaminated here. And with the soup spill, too. It was stressful. Mm. How are you enjoying your appetizer now? Now it tastes slightly burnt. Seriously? Yes, seriously. I will have that taken care of right away for you.
What happened to your lips? What? I don't know, but they hurt. They might be contagious. You need help. I feel contagious. I need help. Are you ready? Do not move. Do not breathe. Your lips. This is necessary. This has to be done. Your lips might need to be amputated. Maybe even your mouth. It could spread to the rest of your body. You are not fully decontaminated. Valerie, there is a chance your lips may also be contaminated. Come here. This is necessary. We had to take proper precautions. You are infected because you woke up too early. You did not allow your body to fully heal. What do you remember? I, I remember nothing. Well, I need new lips. There is a chance. Here. You will need to apply this occasionally. Just avoided it. Party member must be ready to order by now. I see you found your appetizer to be appetizing. Lucas! That must have been some soup spell. What is that on your lips? Are those cold sores? Are you serious? Gross! Don't get any closer to me or I'll call for the manager. I got them. Son, don't, don't talk. Cover your mouth. Cover your mouth if you're going to say anything. How am I supposed to eat with that? Looking at that. Disgusting. Well, I got them when I was cleaning. But I might lose my lips. Oh, the stress. And the soup. But your brutal cold sores are no excuse for the truly horrid job you and Valerie have been doing. Have you heard about our entree special? Mm -hmm. Yes. But I just can't remember. Surprise me. So I have one special? Yes. I'll get that right in. Lucas, did you see any wild bears on the outside? I already told you. Yes. They're everywhere. Did they do something that makes you salivate? You mean like, when you satisfy yourself? I don't know. Do you 
salivate when you satisfy yourself? You mean get wet in the mouth? Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite part. It's so wet and messy. I wonder if party member satisfies himself with the appetizers. Of course he does. Everyone does. But he said he was salivating like a wild bear before he ate his appetizer. So was it bad? Well, I don't know. Well, he said we were doing a terrible job. I don't... I can't get terminated. I can't survive in the outside. You know that. And neither can you. It only matters if he tells the manager we're doing a terrible job. We'll just have to work harder and do a better job. I'm going to work harder than anyone has in this restaurant before. I'm ready. I'm ready to work so hard. I'm gonna work harder than you, harder than manager, and even party member. I hope you're having an excellent time. I just wanna let you know that there will not be a single moment that you will not be attended to. I need to use the dishwasher. It's bad. How bad? Bad. It's real bad, son. Just this way, like always. I hope you have a wonderful time in the dishwash room. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Waiting. Like always. I'm always waiting. Uh -huh. <laughs> How was the dishwash room? I hope it satisfied all of your dishwash needs. Oh boy, I needed it. I would like music for my main course, for my special. Uh, of course. Um, anything for our customers. Anything. Anything. Uh, what would you like? Classical. Or just anything that adds to the atmosphere of this place. It's really starting to get too dry and cold for comfort. Excellent, excellent, excellent choice. Really just perfect. I'll let manager know immediately. Party member says he would like music for his special. Come on, class. Now. Mmm!
The special should be ready soon. I'm on it, manager. Manager says party members' main course will be ready soon. Are you ready to serve? Are you ready to do your best ever? Are you ready to work your hardest ever? Oh, sure. Yes, Manager Lucas. Thank you, Manager. I'm ready for anything. I know sometimes it's hard to understand hard work, but with my guidance and support, you will get to the outside just like I did. I will go to the outside with or without you. Good. This is the necessary attitude. Cooks! Cooks! We need the special! Attention, cooks! Maybe if you ask nicely, they'll answer. Like you know about asking nicely. Cooks! We need the special now! Where are you? Cooks! Hello, cooks! We were wondering how close you are to the special being done, if not already done. Cooks! Cooks! The cooks are not answering. Did you try to yell? Yes, of course. The cooks are dead. <gasps> they died of an infection. But the special is fine. A proper funeral is only necessary. I have scheduled the funeral for right now. But who's going to cook? I will, after the funeral. Please, inform party member that his special will take a little longer than expected while I prepare the funeral. Excuse me, Mr. Party Member. Your special will take longer than expected. Are you serious? Is it those cold sores? I mean, come on. What is slowing this place down? No, Mr. Party Member, that is not the case. There has been another soup spill now in the kitchen. Another soup spill? We will do our best to get you your special as soon as possible. We, on behalf of the Thank you. It's about time. Look at them. Look. They were great cooks. They cooked many great appetizers, entrees, specials, drinks, and of course, desserts. They will be missed. I hope they're in a better place. They served with honor. They were hard workers. They will be missed. I will miss them too. They are not in a better place. There was no better place than in the kitchen. Did they get enough to eat? They lived in the kitchen. They were always eating. Time to say our condolences. Lucas, you start.
<laughs> okay, now it's Valerie's turn. Funeral is over now. These. These were not for the cooks. They were always eating. They were never stressed. They were never worried. These made the cooks slow. It affected their sense of smell. They couldn't smell the serious infection that was spreading. I suspect suicide. I suspect there was something more. But they had gone sick of a diet containing nothing but food from this kitchen. They asked for more. It was not suicide. It was not something more. They suffered. But they are dead, no matter how. And now, we must do what is right and move their bodies to the dumpster. party member. No. They were not close. Besides, he's too busy. Bring me the yellow stretcher. We should make sure that there's no more cold sores today. Are you enjoying your stay party member? Is there anything I can get you, like a calmer? That would be nice. Yeah? Yes. Have you had one? I've tried it. What are you standing around for? Let's go. Come on. Why is the garbage up? We are not keeping up with standards. The garbage men didn't come yet. Spill. She needs our help. Now that sounds quite sad. But I know the two of you are happy about that. <laughs> we are not happy about that. Is there anything I can do? No, just enjoy the music. Relax. If there's anything you need, anything at all. Here's what we do next. Valerie, the you The landlord will arrive soon, as usual. You two must decontaminate and prepare before her arrival. The special is not fully cooked. I need to get cooking. Valerie, tell party member his special will be right out. Lucas, begin a light decontamination. We always pass our inspection. Let's not make this inspection any different. We are on it. Your special will be out soon. 
I uh, check the dishwasher room sometime after I leave. Would you like a refill? Please, check the dishwasher room in the closet. So is that a yes on the refill? Yes, fine, yes. But do you understand me? Do you hear me? Great, I will have that right out. I left something for you and Lucas in the dishwash room closet. Thank you. Let's get to work. not a dog. You need to do your work before the landlord arrives. I apologize for the inconvenience. Your special shall be out at any moment. Also, the landlord will arrive at any time. No problem. Oh, may I have a drink refill? I'm feeling very dry. Of course. I apologize. All these soup spills are slowing us down. It will not happen again. always been so tough. His heart and his face are still intact. It's just his arms and legs that are shattered. We can just carry him around everywhere. We can carry him to the d dishwasher room and to eat. Do you think he'd like that? At least he's not dead. Can you give me a rag from the dishwasher room? Washroom. No way. Yeah, I see. Come go. Oh, 
How are you? Busy day? Busy. Lots of inspections. How many so far? Well, uh, many. But this is my last. You know, I'm gonna get a drink. Oh no, I can get one for you. Sit. Oh no, no, you, you shouldn't. I'll get you one. Did she die from a cold sore? Gross. Yes? What happened? She was using the dishwasher and we peeked. She needs to rest. Can she use one of your mattresses? Mine. I'm the landlord. This is not my job. I have to finish my inspection. Should we get the yellow stretcher? She drank decontamination spray. Shouldn't she already be decontaminated? dead. Where else were we supposed to put this? That's unsanitary. As your landlord, I cannot approve of storing dead bodies in the dumpster. It won't be much longer. The, the garbage man's still coming. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I aired out the bodies. 
The smell would have made the place unbearable. <laughs> There's extra food. Anybody else want to eat? Uh, what's this new special I've been hearing so much about? Lucas, would you like to go get it for us? The kitchen is safe now. This special is one of a kind. Truly remarkable. Did the cooks pass on before they had a chance to finish? Mm. Because this looks great. Yes. The manager finished the cooking. <laughs> Must have been a stressful job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask for extra rare. <laughs> 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 Whew, this is great. How about dessert? What's on the menu? Today we have custard, jello, and pie. Anything but jello, Lucas. Any recommendations? How about custard? No, I hate custard too. Custard will be ah! fine. Custard will be fine. I'll go get that. Where's manager again? Oh, well, she tried to drink herself to death with decontamination fluid while using the dishwash room. <laughs> Attempted suicide is not on the company inspection checklist. <laughs> This is the best custard I've ever had. Well, anybody want more? I don't think I need any more. No one wants any more? No, thank you. Well, nonsense. We have to finish the custard. Stale custard is just no good. It can give you cold sores. Well, this has been an eventful day, but I really must be going.
Lucas. This is still good for another shift. Bye party. Bye, Bye party, party member. member. Well, this place passed inspection. Just barely. What with the cooks dying and the manager attempting suicide. But it passed as always. Well, I'll see you for your next inspe inspection. Thank you. Let's leave the rest of cleaning for tomorrow. I'm tired. Me too. And the dishwasher. Can you pass me the moisturizer? Sure. Thanks. Can you pass the moisturizer? Sure. Thanks. Stop copying me. You wish. I'm so glad we have moisturizer now. Now I can think. Now I can tend without dry skin. <sighs> Do you think our faces are dry enough? They should be. We haven't done a calmer in a while. Go get one. You have more left. I don't want to risk waking manager up. This free time is too much fun. It's not worth the risk. What are you looking for? Party member was acting all strange. She told me to look in the dishwash room closet. Something about a surprise or something? Maybe a calmer. A calmer! Are you serious? Is this real? A treat. He must have snuck it in. How do you get past security? We have security? I don't know. Do we? This could be a trap. <sighs> I can't help it. Stop! How do you know it's a calmer? What else could it be? A wild bear? Well, are you salivating? Yeah. Well, then it must be. But it looks like a calmer. Let's stare to fully appreciate this. I've waited my whole life for this. Wow. You've waited a really long time. <sighs> Cut it out. It's been too long. We have to try. If we don't, we'll regret it. What do we have to lose? All right. Come on. Whoa. Where are you going? Manager's office. Do you want to get terminated? Why do I have to keep reminding you that we could get terminated at any moment? She's not going to see us. If you don't come, I'm going to do both of them. I thought you had a code. Only during working hours. Oh, I knew these were more comfortable than our beds. Lucas, come take a look.
can we terminate her now? She wouldn't even notice. We should enjoy our extra, extra large calmers instead. This is the only chance we're ever going to get. This is as close to the outside as I'm ever going to get. I have a confession. I never went to the outside. I just wanted to make you jealous. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I knew it. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm just jealous. I always am. It's just, you're the smart one, and manager and party member actually like talking to you. You know that's not true. They just ignore me and tell me to work. We're both dumb and you know it. I love you, Valerie. I love you, Lucas. Good night, manager Lucas. Ugh. I don't want to be manager. Only if I have to. Good night, Valerie. I think I have a cold sore. Thank you.